What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Joe here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the RTX 2080 from PNY. I've had this card for a little while and you know, I didn't provide any initial review content at the launch because you know, to be honest with you, I wasn't really feeling good about the RTX launch at, as a whole. You know, PNY obviously had nothing to do with that. This is just their version of the card. But you know, the price and availability of the cards was really like astronomical, it seemed. Um, obviously, they weren't hard to get, but it's just like I said, the prices were so high. And then the availability of games that supported RTX at the time, and really still now, isn't really that great, you know? So it was kind of hard to justify spending all the money on these cards, you know, and, and telling you guys, hey, you should go check them out. But, uh, you know, I think enough time has passed now where they've worked the kinks out, the games are starting to become more and more available. So I wanted to go ahead and do kind of like a follow-up review. We're gonna talk about this card today and my thoughts on it, of course. And then, you know, I really wanna dive into a little bit of RTX testing and see, you know, what, what ray tracing's effects really are, you know, and how it looks and what my experience is with it. And uh, we'll just see where it goes from there. So that being said, why don't we go ahead and take a look at the card itself. Just to give a quick overview, the PNY RTX 2080 is powered by the Touring GPU architecture and all new RTX platform. The card has a dual slot design and measures in at 1.3 inches thick by 11 and a half inches long and four and a half inches tall. It's equipped with 2,944 CUDA cores and has a base clock of 1515 megahertz and it boosts up to 1815 megahertz out of the box. The eight gigs of GDDR6 are rated at 14 gigabits per second and the card has a total TDP of 225 watts. Speaking of power, as you can see, the card will require one six pin and one eight pin power connector like most of the 2080s that are available on the market. Like most of PNY's card designs, they went with a plastic shroud design. Uh, there's both flat and uh, shiny textures, I guess you could say. You know, a lot of lines. It has a cool look to it actually, um, but you know, one of the things that, that I ran into is I left the plastic covering on until like the last minute when I was getting ready to record the video. So of course, when I went to peel it off, there was a little bit of plastic adhesive that came off onto the shroud itself and then of course I went to try to clean it up ended up scratching up that shiny portion so that's the only downside to this type of you know shiny plastic or acrylic or you know any of these type of materials is they end up scratching really easily but obviously that shouldn't have any impact on the performance and uh, you know maybe my method of cleaning with a regular towel wasn't uh, you know the best method so moving on to the cooler itself it looks like they used a copper core uh, coil in there and then of course it has aluminum fins uh, which are going to cool those cores uh, and then in turn obviously cool the GPU itself. The weight of the card is actually really hefty you know some of the older PNY variants there were some people that complained uh, you know that it felt like the card was cheap and you know I gotta say this is definitely uh, a really well weighted card um, which you know comes with the downside as well obviously the heavier the card the more you're going to run into that kind of sag issue but you know thankfully a lot of the cases nowadays have support built in and there's other methods of course to support the cards um, and you know what to be honest with you I'd rather have a little bit of weight behind the card a well designed cooler to get the best performance I can. Looking to the back of the card, we do not have a backplate, which is one of the main things that I love to see on a lot of these cards. And you know, for some reason, PNY doesn't seem to put these backplates on their GPUs. Um, and you know, it'd just be kind of a nice option, especially when you're buying these more premium models or high tier cards like the 2080 or the 2080 Ti. Um, but you know, obviously this one doesn't have that. Moving to the rear I.O. of the card, we have the standard triple display port 1.4, HDMI 2.0B, and a USB Type-C connection. And at the I.O. mount itself, you can see they've implemented this nice honeycomb design, which is supposed to assist with airflow. At the top of the card, you guys will see there is a nice subtle GeForce RTX logo they've put in place there, and an RGB strip light that is underneath the logo. Um, it's pretty subtle, and I like that PNY didn't, you know, do any huge callouts to RGB or make this the RTX 2080 RGB. Obviously, I'm a big fan of that stuff, but uh, you know, I hate when uh, you know it's kind of like the only reason they designed something. So I like that PNY went for a subtle look here. Now that we've gone over the card a little bit, I think the best thing to do is to pop out my 1080s behind us, put in this RTX 2080, turn the ray tracing on, and play some Battlefield and see, you know, what kind of performance we get, see if we can notice any differences in the gameplay. The reason I'm going to do it on my machine and not a test machine is mostly because, uh, well, I want to play it on the ultra wide that I have set up here, and I don't want to move stuff around. So let's go ahead and put this baby in, maybe I'll get a cup of coffee, 
and we'll just play some games. All right guys, so this is the Battlefield 5 Firestorm mode. This is the new mode that just came out a couple of days ago. We're gonna try and play a couple of rounds here and see, you know, with the ray tracing enabled, what kind of gameplay we get out of, you know, out of the card. Obviously this is a new game mode, so it may not be the best, but we're gonna try it anyways. And we'll drop in here. So a few things I noticed right off the bat, obviously we have a little bit of a, a reflection off the ground here um, that's kind of moving along with the light. We also have this cool sun flare, which I think is there as well when you have RTX uh, turned off or ray tracing turned off. But, um, you know, we'll have to compare our findings with uh, the toggle turned off and, and see how it goes. But that's kind of the first couple things that come to mind. I know we had somebody land over here, so let's see if we can go find someone. We definitely see a lot more reflections when it comes to the water in this game as well, with the RTX enabled. I mean, you can kind of see there's the sheen, but I mean, you can actually see a reflection of these trees across the way. And as you turn, they turn with the, you know, orientation you're facing, you know, whatever object it is that it's reflecting. So, I mean, that definitely adds a layer of depth to the gameplay. Now, does it make you any better at the game? I don't think so, but, you know, it just adds to the experience. So, let's see what else we can find. It's pretty cool, actually, too, as you guys can kind of see here, you know, as you get in different, you know, areas of light, you can actually see, like, you know the flames from the fire reflecting off the, the gun. You obviously can see the shadows, you know, from different angles of the sun. But you actually get those colors that bounce off of, you know, things as well. I mean, you can kind of see it there. There's a little bit of red on the, on the edge of the barrel, and that's kind of reflecting those flames down the way there. Hopefully I don't get taken out here. But, I mean, that's all part of this, uh, you know, new capability of the game is that you know it just adds another layer of texture you know you get these bright bright colors that reflect off these these uh textures of the gun and the stock and i mean it's kind of hard to s oh, i thought someone was coming for me oh there is someone right here
All right, guys, as I mentioned earlier, I'll go ahead and leave links down in the description below if you guys want to check out the PNY RTX 2080. Uh, it's currently priced at about 849 US, 850 bucks. Uh, if you guys are shopping actually right now, I think Nvidia has a deal going on with basically all the retailers where you get Anthem, Battlefield 5, and Metro Exodus included in the retail price. So you basically get about $150 with the free games. I believe that's for the 2080 as well as the 2080 Ti. And then I think they have maybe some other deals for the 2070s. Uh, and that would basically just be like one game, but uh, there's a ton of promos going on So check it out if you guys are interested Let me know if you guys would like to see more uh, content on the RTX launch or you know if you guys want to see one of the newer uh, Lesser costly cards. I'm always happy to hear that stuff down in the comments section below big thanks to PNY for sending me this RTX 2080 I'm always happy to work with those guys and they're very very understanding with my delayed publishing of the video So, uh, you know again big thanks to them for being patient and letting me share this stuff with you guys uh, If you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on the way out And uh, you know if you guys want to see more tech videos like this in the future Feel free to hit that subscribe button until next time guys. This has been Joe's tech. I'll see you in the next video